If you ever felt personally victimized by terrible app design, this video is definitely for you. Let's talk about some infamous examples of bad UX design and what we can learn from them. First, let's start with job application platforms like Workday. Ever notice how applying for a job online feels harder than the job itself? Workday makes you fill out endless forms only to ask you to upload the same info in your resume afterwards. Plus, you need to add a new account for every company you apply to. The lesson here is to to simplify user flows and to use wizard design pattern to break down complicated processes into small manageable steps. Trust me, your user will thank you. Next up, Microsoft Teams. The navigation is confusing and finding key features can feel like treasure hunt. Here's the takeaway. Navigation should be intuitive. Clearly label menus, avoid redundancy and group similar features logically. Good UX is all about making users feel smart, not confused. And let's not forget about Facebook Ads Manager. It's powerful for sure but also wildly cluttered. The interface bombards users with features and metrics most won't ever use. If your users have to search through the maze of options to find basic tools, you've got a UX problem. The lesson is to keep interfaces clean and task-focused. Highlight most important actions and tuck less used features away. Accessibility is crucial too. Look at HBO Max. Their design uses such poor color contrast that users often can't even tell what you're really selecting. This is isn't just frustrating, it actively includes users with visual impairments. This lesson is to always prioritize accessibility. Simple changes like enhancing contrast or clearly highlighting active elements can make a huge difference for all users. Speaking of overload, have you ever used Outlook? It's so scammed with features, email calendars, tasks that new users quickly become overwhelmed. Clutter kills usability. To fix it, prioritize essential features and offer customization options to the clutter that works. Space. Now, let's talk about Salesforce. Despite its massive power as a CRM tool, its interface feels like it's straight out of 90s, full of inconsistent modules that make navigation tough. Users want consistent experiences. A uniform design language across modules helps users move seamlessly through platform, boosting productivity and reducing frustration. Amazon's product pages also need a serious UX lift. They endlessly scroll through unrelated ads, promotions and recommendations. The key information like reviews, or product specs is buried deep below. The lesson is to highlight essential product details up front and keep navigation clear and straightforward. Finally, Zoom. Ever spend five minutes in a meeting trying to find the button to invite someone? Zoom hides essential meeting functions behind a wall of rarely used features. The solution is to prioritize frequently used controls clearly and prominently. Here is a quick recap. Simplify user flows. Make navigation intuitive and logical. Keep interfaces clean and task-focused. Prioritize accessibility ensure consistency across your platform, highlight key information clearly, prioritize frequently used features. Want more UX insights like this? Hit the like button, subscribe, and drop your most frustrating UX experiences in the comments. Let's help each other design better apps together.